Today we are going to talk about fittings that leaks, especially when the people work on the RO system. Then when they leave, about an hour, two hours later, you find out there is some water leakage in the cupboard and you phone them, come back, and then they must take a look and see what's wrong, where the leak is. Usually when they finish with this service, um, they're in a hurry, they left, and they don't check properly. Usually I use some uh, kitchen towels, that paper towels, to take a look and test for any leaks. And I stay here for a while, say for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, just to make sure that the fittings doesn't leak. But today we're going to talk about this. It's the normal fitting. Okay. It consists of four things. The housing. You can see how it looks like. A rubber seal. There, I show it to you. And then... A crimping device. This is quite interesting. You will see there is some sm that line there is steel um, plates, small steel like teeth, whatever. Now that grips the pipe. It grips around the pipe so that it doesn't come loose. So what's happened is, first of all, this rubber seal is in there. Then this thing. You see how it is been designed? Goes in there. That's how the fitting looks like. And then lastly, this clip. They usually put it there. Why it is there is to keep this thing out. Now what's happening is, let's say for instance, what I usually do is when I use this pipe, Vaseline. I just use a little bit, put it around here. I'm going to tell you why. And then I'm going to push it in as deep as possible and I pull it out. Okay? Then it wouldn't go in uh, out. The Vaseline also lubricates the rubber seal that's in there. But let's take a look to an old, um, this fitting. Let's say, for instance, it starts to leak. Now, what's happening is you first pull away out this clip. Then this, you push back again. You see? Then you pull out this pipe. Okay. I marked this pipe black there, but you can see there is a small groove. You see? You see there? Now, what's happening is you... Whenever you pull out a pipe, out of these fittings, you cut off this first piece, there it is, that you, um, that's got the groove. I usually cut it off where the groove is. Then, I replace this clip again, and I take this pipe, push it in there, pull it back, <coughs> it's fine. It wouldn't leak anymore. And that is how you solve a, pi a pipe that has leaks. Important to know. Whenever you remove a pipe from a fitting. Whenever you do that. Which you must cut off that first piece. Just a small little piece every time because that would prevent it from leaking.